Things are staying very mild for us here across the area, largely because of that ridge of high pressure. But that is going to start to flatten on out here over the next day or so. We'll be watching this low pressure center shift right into northern California. So it should be a fairly light amount of snow. We'll make it down to the pass level. That means 5 and 58. Maybe come a little slick for you. To Hatchby, still seeing the snow rack up up there. I'm getting Facebook reports from our viewers in that area. This area in Solvang really getting hammered right now just east of Lompoc. That will be traveling into our area here for weird weird weather for next week, uh, considering the time of year that we're Right, exactly. Well, you know what else is weird? What's that? Solar eclipse. And as a matter of fact, we want to show you an educational video mm -hmm. that our weather team made. Hopefully a little entertaining. <laughs> Take a look back behind me, Megan. You can see it's almost zero visibility out here right now. I can tell you the winds are gusting so strong that at about 280 pounds, I'm being blown around. I feel like a rag doll. The downpour has returned to the area, so we're going to see this level rising up even higher. Right, as you see, we're getting a good dose of rain in right now. That front's coming back behind us, so we'll see much colder air. So the stuff that's rain right now will be snow and ice as it heads deeper into the grapevine. Fraternity guys at a cancer awareness event. It's not something that you often think of. What brought you guys out tonight? Great, all for a good cause. How about that? A weather forecast and a haircut in three minutes and 30 seconds. Guys, back to you. I was looking at our sky cam there through Bakersfield. Of course, it was very cloudy out today and a little bit yesterday as well. That's going to continue through the next couple of days uh, as we've seen partly cloudy skies up through this afternoon, 57 degrees right now. But as you'll see on the radar when we get to that, there is some cloud cover and showers that will be making their way into our area. Today, very comfortable. We saw a high of 63 degrees with 40s across our mountains. We're looking for some valley showers. And how about it? Snow, although it should be a fair a light amount of snow will make it down to the past level. That means 5 and 58 may become a little slick for you uh, through Monday evening and Tuesday. So you definitely want to be careful. Of course, you're looking at winter weather advisories that have already been issued down across parts of the Southland. So if you're going to be traveling into Los Angeles tonight, keep that in mind. Take it easy. Also very windy out in that area. Now, as far as the front goes, you can see showers and also some snow already showing up on the radar out ahead of the system. But that will continue to travel on into our area here over the the next 24 hours or so you can see uh, rain showers in the forecast as far as the models are concerned by morning and then we'll see a little bit more through the evening as it's pushing through our area and of course as it pushes on by it looks like Tuesday evening finally start to clear out here just a little bit of course all this movement coming through the valley really clears the air out which is definitely good news for us temperature wise this evening we're going to be back into the 40s we'll see highs in the mid 50s and lower 60s for tomorrow your forecast into the mountains for this evening Bear Valley Springs there at 32 along with Fraser Park. So keep in mind, any precipitation we get uh, tonight at that level is going to turn over into snow, and we'll see that tomorrow around 5,500 feet uh, by the afternoon. Kern River Valley forecast will be down in the mid to upper 30s overnight. Daytime highs tomorrow in the upper 40s and 50s. And finally, your desert forecast, there, Ridgecrest at 37 for the overnight hours, 57 for tomorrow. So the wet weather going to be uh, the main statement as far as weather is concerned early in the week. Of course, things do begin to clear out a little bit uh, toward the latter part of the week. Temperatures will finally start to rebound, but take a look at that big drop there. Things are really cool for the first half of the uh, work week out for us there. Current mountain forecast is going to be equal as chilly. Overnight, you definitely want to plan on bundling up. We're not getting much warmer than 30 for the first uh, several days of the work week in the mountains. And uh, the current river valley overnight low is also going to be a little chilly, but daytime highs do begin to climb by the end of the week. That's very good news, but I like it cold. We can keep it cold as long as possible. There you go. You can always throw on a couple extra blankets. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much, Anthony. All right. 97 degrees for your Mother's Day, but of course, hopefully you got that outdoor uh, stuff done early in the day you were able to come back inside into the air condition. Of course, our friends in the mountains also seeing temperatures there topping out in the 80s this afternoon. Of course, temperatures uh, for the most part have been trending up here. We could see that changing, though, in fact, starting on tomorrow. Slightly cooler as we get ready to head out. We will see that mountain breeze continuing and a couple of hot days sprinkled in through the rest of the work week as well. Satellite radar picture, fairly quiet. Dry skies for us here. Not seeing a lot of radar activity at all. Things are staying very mild for us here across the area, largely because of that ridge of high pressure. But that is going to start to flatten on out here over the next day or so. We'll be watching this low pressure center shift right into northern California, but it will not bring any rain into the area. We're just talking about some cooler air for the next couple of days there. As you can see on Futurecast, staying very dry across California. So your forecasts are traveling across the state. Going to be a hot one here out for Vegas and Palm Springs. Not so hot into San Francisco, though. 
other than the Southland, we're talking low 70s. Air quality, that's going to be a bit of a problem here in the valley floor, of course. In the poor ranges where it will peak at tomorrow, likely could stay there for another day or so. Forecast for this evening in the South Valley floor areas, we'll see temperatures uh, down to the 50s and low 60s. Generally, we're talking upper 80s tomorrow in the afternoon for the South Valley floor areas. Mountain locations, Fraser Park stretching on up to Glenville, will be in the 40s for tonight with 70s for highs on tomorrow afternoon. Kern River Valley forecast also falling back into the 50s as well. And a nice day on tap for you on your Monday there. Desert forecast looking pretty good as well. Cal City at 62 degrees through the overnight 96 on the way forward tomorrow. And that extended forecast. Got a little bit of a roller coaster, but a flatter roller coaster than we had seen. In fact, we're looking at that hot day there uh, over the weekend, but all in all, things leading up to it looking pretty good. Of course, we could see those temperatures cool down as well. 70s for us over the next couple of days into the mountain region there. Of course, temperatures hovering up near the 80 degree mark as we get toward the middle of the week. And the Kern River Valley forecast Monday and Tuesday, we'll see temperatures in the 80s before cruising back to the 90 degree mark. Ooh, and it was warm today, yeah, but no really triple was. digits. It's stay below triple digits. And I got to tell you, we got a lot of comments, you know, on Facebook and social media earlier in the week. Oh, you know, my app said it's going to be <laughs> degrees on Sunday and it's like no just easy not quite there not quite there Maybe just shy from other